We asked a random American citizen what gerrymandering was. The response was... So, isn't it kind of like meandering? Like when you move really slowly, but you don't really know where you're going, you're just kind of like walking around. But I'm guessing it was invented by a guy named Jerry. No, gerrymandering is a redrawing of electoral districts, usually to favor the party in power. Politicians are able to draw perfect district lines by using party registration, race, and even magazine titles to choose who they want as voters. Every 10 years, borders of congressional and state legislative districts are redrawn. Ridiculous district lines get drawn when either party has political power. Many of the results were decided before you cast your vote. Voters should choose politicians, not the other way around. The burden of gerrymandering tends to heavily fall on African Americans and other minority communities. This is racism. This is not what America stands for. In 1964, a Supreme Court case, Westbury v. Sanders, declared gerrymandering is unconstitutional. Since then, not much has been done to change or stop it. Amendment 15, Section 1 gives us our right to vote. Gerrymandering has taken away that right to vote. The right to vote is our voice, but that has been lost to gerrymandering. Throughout American history, we've been fighting for voter equality. Gerrymandering goes against everything we work for. It's a serious problem, and both parties abuse this problem. There are national rules against gerrymandering, like the ones in California. The solution to stopping gerrymandering is by using the mathematical model that California uses to redraw their districts to make them as compact as possible. This makes use of demographics and political affiliation in the redrawing a criminal offense. States should take redistricting out of the hands of state legislators and entrust nonpartisan commissions. There are many solutions to solving this corrupt problem. It really doesn't have to be this way. 